if you want to know how you can make an XP bar leveling system like this one on screen right now, you're going to have to watch this video all of the to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make an XP bar in Roblox. What I mean with that, for example, if you get XP from just somewhere in your game, uh, the bar at the top of your screen will move, and then it will display uh, your level, and uh, how much XP you would kind of like need, you would like, you can kind of like uh, get an estimate on that uh, UI at the top of your screen, and it's going to be a really epic tutorial, so as I usual say, if you do like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it, if you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload, and make sure you become a member by pressing the blue join button down below, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers, it's an insane number, and I'm really glad I can have this. So thank you so much for almost 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I, I'll probably make a 10,000 subscriber special, but more on that later probably. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all, you need the model from the link in the description. In the description, there's going to be a model. Uh, just get it and then continue back to the video. So before we start, publish your game and then go to game settings and then click on security and enable studio access to API services. If you do this, uh, you can like save data. Because we're going to save your level because if you rejoin, you're going to be the same level as before, you know? Yeah, okay. So let's click save and let's get right to coding. So first of all, you want to go to view. You want to go to the toolbox. And then you want to go to the four blocks over here. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. But then we got inventory and click on that and then get your model. And then uh, two scripts, just click OK. And then we're good. So what we're going to do now is we are going to open this up. And then you'll see replicated storage, service script service, and storage to GUI. So just drag them into their locations. So replicated storage, service script service, level UI. Okay, so now let's delete the unnecessary folders and let's get right to coding. So first of all, we're going to code the server script, which is the, uh, the, the longest but also pretty easy one. So local players, is the game, go on get service players. Local replicated storage. It is a game, call on get service, replicated storage. Now we are going to call something called data store service, which means we can store data on Roblox and then retrieve it when you join back the game. So local data store service, data store service, six the game, call on get service, data store service. Now we need to make a little data store out of that. So we, we got the actual service. But we need we need to make like a data store out of that. So local value db, so value database is equal to data store service colon get data store of values and values is going to be like the key for it. So let's continue. And now lastly, we're going to call the uh, remote event. So local handler is equal to replicated storage dot handler. Okay. So now we need to make two or three functions. I think three. Uh, yeah, we need to make three functions. And then, uh, yeah, we can continue. Okay, so local function save data of the player. So uh, we're gonna save some data from your player. We're immediately gonna make a table. So local values is equals to this. And uh, what we're gonna make is we're gonna make uh, exp or xp and level. So player dot level dot value and then semicolon player dot exp dot value. I'm just gonna call it exp or xp. Uh, yeah, just to make it clear. Now we're going to make a pcal function out of that because a pcal means it will error, uh, it will like filter it out. So value db, colon set async, player.user id, comma, and the values table. Now on line 17, local function, player added of the player. Let me just go over here. Yep. And now local data and just leave it empty. And then local s comma e is equal to a pcal function out of that. And we're going to set the data. So data is equals to value db. And now we're going to actually retrieve it. So get async. So value db colon get async. As you can see, it returns the value of a key in a specified data store and a data store key info instance. Well, actually, you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is that this will uh, retrieve the data. So get async. We need to get it from player.user ID because 
Over here, we're setting it on your ID, and over here, we're getting it back from your ID. Okay? So now, if not S, then uh, warn E, because if there's, uh, if something fails, we're just gonna let the game know that. Now we need two things. We need local level and local exp. But let's code level, local level first. So local level is equal to instance.new, and level and exp are both a number, so we're both gonna make uh, number values for them. Level.name is equal to level, kind of obvious, and level.parent is going to be inside of the player. Now do the same for XP, so local exp is equal to instance that new a number value. We're gonna name the oh yeah, do you, it, there's a change you're gonna get export, but just change it exp dot uh, name is equal to exp and then exp dot parent is equal to player. So now uh, we're gonna set your data, which is um, we're almost done with the script already. So if data and data and then a square brackets one. So let me just give you a little brief on what's up. So this is number one, number one, and this is number two. And then if you make more, it's going to be number three, number four, number five, number six. Okay, you get the point. So now we got number one and number two. So if data one, so if if there's data and you have a level, then level that value is equal to data one because that is data one. But if that's not the case, you're going to start at level 1. So level.value is equal to 1. Because you cannot start at level 0. That will be a little bit broke, broken-ish, whatever you want to call it. Now, we only did level. But we also need to do it for the experience amount. So, uh, if data and data2, then, because number 2 is the exp. And over here, we're making exp. You get the point. So, if you have data, exp.value is equal to data2. If you don't have any data, we're going to set your value to zero because you, you're just going to have zero XP. The maximum XP you can get per level is 100. You can customize that to whatever you want, but I'm going to set it to 100 just uh, so it's a little bit clearer on my end. So EXP, colon, get property changed signal of a value, colon, connect, function. So I am not going to make something that gives you XP in this tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, manually give myself XP, but in your game, whatever you, if you're making a shooter game on kill, you can give like 10 XP or something or whatever you want, uh, but that's all your choice. Now we're going to check if, uh, the cur if your XP amount is above the maximum, because so, if that's the case, you're going to get a new level, and uh, yeah. So if exp.value is the same or above as maximum, then... You're gonna get a new level, and you're gonna start at uh, you're gonna um, start at zero XP. So exp dot value is equal to zero. Level dot value plus equals one because you're gonna get one level extra. And we're gonna send a remote event. So handler call on fire client. We're gonna send it to the player. We're gonna give the argument new level, and we're gonna give exp dot value. We're gonna all, we're always gonna give uh, the XP amount. So what we're going to do, else if exp, that value, is the same or below as maximum, okay, so if it's below uh, the maximum, so for example, if you have uh, 80 xp and you need 100 to get a new level, it's going to be 80, so that's lower, then we're only going to change your xp amount on the client, so handler, call off fire client, player, we're going to give it the argument change xp or exp change, because something has changed, it's not a new level, but it's more xp. And we're going to send your exp level with that, your exp value. So now that this is done, uh, lastly, if when you join the game, we're all we're going to completely copy this line. When you join the game, we're also going to give you an immediate xp change uh, just to set your data. Okay. So now the last like ten lines, local function player removing of a player. And all we're going to do is save data player because. Uh, at the top, we already made it, so if you leave the game, it's going to set your data, and you're going to be completely fine. Now, for underscore, come up player, and I pairs, players, call on get players do, and then player added of a player, and uh, players, that player added, call on connect, of a player added. So if you join the game, we're going to fire player added, but if you leave the game, players, that player removing, as you can see, 
then we're gonna uh, attach the player removing with it just like this and this is your script done it's not that it's not that hard so this is the longest script done you're doing absolutely great and uh, let's continue to the next script so that is a client in level UI so now local players is it just a game go and get surface players local player is it just a players that local player now we're going to need to define the maximum again and the replicated storage so local replicated storage is it just a game go and get service of replicated storage and the maximum as we said was 100 so we're just going to set it to 100 now replicated storage that handler that on client event call on connect function we're going to give it an argument and an additional because uh we're sending the argument like hey is it an is it a new level or an xp change uh, but we're also sending the exp value of it okay if not argument then return end because we need an argument to run this function so if argument is equals equals to exp change so if what if only happens is um, your exp changes then script that parent that frame that yellow call on tween size to uden 2new and you should have three brackets now so one two three and in between these two you're going to type additional divided by maximum so slash max comma zero comma one comma zero like this script dot parent dot frame dot uh level dot text is equals to level and then a space so make sure you add in that space and then dot dot player dot level dot value this is how simple it is but you may notice newbie we also have a new level argument so you should add that in yeah i'm gonna do that right now else if argument is equals equals to new level then so if you have if you're gonna get new level then all we have to do is set this back to its origin position which is like the start and we have to just set the level so we're just gonna completely copy this and then all you want to change is uh the brackets over here so zero comma zero comma one comma zero this is what you want to change and this is your entire script done you're doing absolutely great and now let's uh we're actually going to try this out in game in the actual game so let's do that right now so i am now in the actual game and as you can see it, it fits perfectly on the top and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to write out a simple command to determine uh just to give myself some little xp every amount of seconds so i'm just going to type this out really quickly while to do game dot players dot newbie derpy dev dot exp dot value plus equals uh, i'm going to give myself 20 xp actually 19 i'm going to give myself 19 xp um every one second so three two one and go as you can see i'm getting xp okay boom boom as you can see it tweens perfectly and then on a new level boom it tweens back to the start and my recording is very laggy for some reason. But I hope you guys don't mind that. It's a little computer issue. But as you can see, it tweens perfectly fine. It, sometimes it has a little bit of lag. But don't worry, that's because of Roblox. So now what happens if we leave the game? So we're now rejoining the game. I should be level 5.5 or 6. Probably 6. As you can see, I'm level 6. And I joined in. And it loads perfectly. And my recording is very laggy. I'm really sorry. I hope I can fix it soon in the next tutorial. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it really works, and it's amazing. And what you can do, you can just do this however many times you want. So, if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, uh, and if you did like it, make sure to give it a like. If you like it, if you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member by pressing, uh, pressing the blue join button down below. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.